set this up again, right? So what you do is you put the uh, the die on the card, and you put the card on the shot glass, and you put the card on top of that. And then can you bring your hand in like this? <laughs> put your hand just like that, just like that. And this, remember, as soon as somebody uh, says money, you just press your hand straight down, <laughs> and then you put it through. Yeah, I mean, it's crazy, right? Diabolical bet is one of my favorite creations for so many reasons. Firstly, it's like nothing that's ever been done before. A brand new approach for this type of effect. There's no trap doors, flaps, or slides. Most importantly, it's easy to practice and totally impossible. This is a proposition bet. You ever heard of a proposition bet? Proposition. <laughs> Proposition bet is when somebody sets up a crazy series of circumstances and they bet you money. Like, I can take this walnut and throw it over that 13-story building. I'll bet you $100 I can do that. And you're like, clearly there's no way you can do that. And the moment you take your money out, they throw a walnut over a 13-story building. <laughs> right. For the purposes of this, this shot glass is our 13-story building and this uh, die is our walnut, right? Why don't you check them out make sure they're ordinary. We're also going to get a couple of cards out of this deck. Uh, we use a couple... Wait, 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 wait. We'll, we... I, I failed before. Someone else can check. We'll, uh, we... Five again. All right, let's see. We we'll use a. Uh, there you go. There you go. Good. Good okay, so we're we're gonna use a uh, we're gonna use a couple of uh, jacks here. Um, so the idea or, so the idea with these jacks is we're gonna set up a, a crazy little tower. So if I take this card and I put the dice on it and I put that on the shot glass and then I put the die on the shot glass, what I would do is I would bet you a hundred dollars that I could get that die in that shot glass without removing the card the bottom card from the shot glass. I think you can. Well, you think you can because you've seen a bunch of magic, right? I just you believe but if, in his I'll magic. Keep an yeah. But if I walked up to you in a bar, you would bet. I, if I set that up, you'd be like, "There's no way." I'm not trying to this, but I'm not a gambler. Not a gambler. Fair enough. But it seems impossible, it right? Seems impossible. And the moment you get your money out, that's when I do this. I know it's crazy, right? I'm gonna teach. I'm gonna teach you how to do this, okay? You s we set this up again, right? So what you do is you put the uh, the die on the card, and you put the card on the shot glass, and you put the card on top of that, and then can you bring your hand in like this? <laughs> put your hand just like that, just like that, and this, remember, as soon as somebody uh, says money, you just press your hand straight down, <laughs> and then you it. put it through. Yeah, I mean it's crazy, right? No way. I know. <laughs> yeah. It feels like yeah. Because here's what's, what's going on, is like, she she thinks there's something in the card, right? She wants to check out the cards, and then she thinks she's found the hole. You think you found the it's hole. Sharpie, no, it? that right there, that's a sticker. Because there's no hole, and you can check all of these out, but I think all of you now owe me $100. If you blinked, you would have missed it. And in this case, when performing this effect, you want to be as fair as possible. So, you show them again. This time, believe it or not, you'll allow the spectators to take part in the magic and let them push the die straight through the card, leaving them completely puzzled without any possible explanation. As for a fun bonus kicker ending, something nobody would ever want to hear after witnessing what felt totally impossible, you let them in on the secret. It's a hole. Transform the hole into what only appears to be black space. And in this case, nothing more than a black sticker. Slowly peel it off, revealing exactly what you described from the very beginning. Two examinable cards, a shot glass, and a single die. Examine each and every bit. Yeah. I'm Nicholas Lawrence, and this is the Diabolical Bet.